Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another video after the first half of the final season of Fear. We are here to rank all six episodes of the first half of the final season. What's going on, Morgan? All I do is kill. We find him, we get the coordinates before Shrek does. Shrek's going to the swamp. I'm going to make sure she doesn't come out of there. I need my ass. Morgan! Baby, run. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for Fear of the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're here to do another ranking video, obviously the first half of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 8 slash the final season has just wrapped up a couple days back now on AMC Plus with Episode 6, and I did get a few people that were asking me, Dan, are you going to go ahead and rank all of the six episodes of the first half? from uh, worst to best and obviously you guys know I love doing these type of videos and um, just something that uh, I thought was a good idea because obviously fear is going to be on break now for a little while uh, we're going to be mostly you know I would say in the next week or two we're probably going to be solely focusing on dead city and dead city only because uh, fear of the walking dead is going to be over I do have a few more discussion topics for fear I do have a few other videos I want to get done for it after that mid-season finale but uh, for the most part a lot of our you know focus is going to go to dead city um but um yeah let's get into this ranking so uh, all six episodes of Fear, you guys know this has been a very up and down half for me. There's some episodes that I like, there's some episodes I do not like, so you're going to hear all of that in this video, and, um... There's some episodes that have aged better over time. There's some episodes that have aged really, really bad over time. Uh, so you guys will get all those kind of updated thoughts uh, on the episodes as well, too. So uh, starting off with number six, the worst episode of the first half is going to go to More Time Than You Know, 805. Uh, this episode right here, I did not enjoy in the slightest. I mean, if you watch the review, you'll know full well that I hated, yes, hated this episode, um, I thought it was terrible. I think I gave it like a 2 out of 10 in the review, and I think even these days I would probably give it like a 1 out of 10, to be honest. I think I was overly generous in the review. Um, this episode is just not good. <laughs> it's not good. You've got Grace, who's dying the whole episode. You've got this stupid cure idea that they drag through the entire friggin' half season, um, which doesn't even work anyway. You've got Mo that somehow brings a, a grown-ass adult, an 8-year-old Mo, mind you, brings a grown-ass adult onto a, a train thing and lugs her to the friggin to the train you know um so stupid and you've got uh of course Dwight and Sherry's son he's starting to die now which is a terrible idea for the story I'll never understand why they killed Finch off and um yeah the cure it's just an awful idea Morgan just starts running around in the woods while Mo takes care of it all uh yeah it's such a bad episode you got Shrek who you know one second she wants Morgan to help her and then the next second she wants something to do with him and at one moment she wants Grace dead and then the next moment she wants to save her life like it the writing just sucks it's so bad and and the worst scene of them all is when Morgan literally finally comes back, you know, and knocks the Padre guards on their ass, and he runs directly past Shrike for no apparent reason. Well, he could have easily just killed her right then and there, but he runs past her like an idiot. I mean, it's such a dumb episode. I still don't understand how some people actually say that the episode's good, um, but I know a lot of people do not like the episode, and I am in agreement. I think that is a piece of crap episode of this season it was so bad um number five is then going to go to season eight episode three odessa i guess i think is what it's called um yeah this episode right here it's not episode five bad it's not nearly as bad as that one but it's pretty freaking bad i'm gonna tell you right now um this episode is basically our backstory for padre where we reveal that this scared little kid um has been hiding behind this mirror for 12 years making people think that his father's still alive somehow padre just believes that after 12 years of no presence of the father once whatsoever that he's just been hiding behind this room the whole time it's so friggin stupid it's such a terrible twist and um it's not intimidating whatsoever it's not scary it's not on the edgier seat it's not a big villain reveal no it's trash it's just trash and here's the thing too the father's actor is not good i'm sorry he's really not uh there's literally a scene where he gets bit on the face and he keeps talking as if nothing happened to him like as if a zombie's gonna bite you on the friggin face and you're not gonna say anything you're not gonna scream your head off no he's like getting bit on the face he's like don't let this die it's too important what in the frig is going on here, man? <laughs> like, seriously. And you've got Daniel who comes back, which is about the only saving grace of this episode. But you've got the experiments that they're doing. You've got, like, the frickin' 
the terrible dialogue. You've got Mo that I feel like is just annoying as hell in this episode. And yeah, there's just not really any good qualities about the episode. The only thing that's good about this one is Daniel's return for a couple minutes, um, you know, which uh, I guess saves it from being worse than episode five. But the Padre backstory sucks. The entire story is dumb. And the reveal absolutely is atrocious. It's, it's absolutely terrible. Um... So yeah, did not like that episode whatsoever. Number four is then going to be 801. Remember what they took from you. Now, I'm going to admit something right here, okay? Because I know a lot of people were wondering, Dan, you seem like you don't like the premiere of Fear, yet in your review, you, you thought it was really good. Um, I can't even tell you guys how much of a badly aged episode that is. I don't know what the hell I was talking about, given that thing. What did I give that, like a 9 out of 10? Did I give it a 10 out of 10? I might have. Um, I, it's the one time I've reviewed an episode and I completely regret it. I, I'm going to be completely honest right now. Um, this episode, look, it's not a piece of crap. It's not episode three or five bad, but it's not the greatest either. You know, the only things I can say I like from the episode is the visuals are good. Um, Madison actually is pretty decent to me, at least. I, I don't really see anything wrong with her. Um, but Morgan is a dumb character in this episode. I'm sorry. I am a huge Morgan defender, and even I can say that Morgan was pissing me off in this episode. Calling himself Nightingale. He's been co collecting kids for like seven friggin' years. He just gave up Moe to Padre just because he couldn't protect her, apparently. That is not the Morgan I know. And then, not to mention, you've got Grace that comes back, and she's like, I'm your mother, you know, which was a cringy scene in and of itself. But then two seconds later, she's like, you have to go back, Mo. You have to go back. I'm like, what? Like, what? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, seriously, that scene is so friggin' stupid. And, um, again, Mo just really annoying. Morgan pissed me off. Grace pissed me off. Uh, the episode just is not logically sound at all. And Padre is not a intimidating threat in this episode at all. So, I don't know. Um, like I said, I like Madison. I like some of the visual aspects of this episode. Padre as a location is pretty cool. And I guess the opening scene was pretty good with Madison and Morgan. That scene was pretty good. But that's that's all you got. Like it's it honestly, like to me, it's like a four out of ten, a five out of ten these days. It's it's not the greatest episode in the world. Uh, it's not a piece of crap, but it's not the greatest. Um coming in at number three is then going to be season eight, episode two. Um, oh my god. So now we're getting into some episodes that are okay, at least. Uh, this episode is pretty good. You know, you've got June. She's chopping off some of the collector's fingers, of course, which kind of comes back to bite her in the ass, uh, where she gets her finger chopped off, of course, so that was pretty crazy. Uh, and June, I thought, was the standout of this episode. She was really good. And, you know... You get Dwight and Sherry in this episode, which I also thought was pretty good. Uh, here is where the flaws come in, I would say, is the kid getting bit, therefore causing his death later on. So in the end, I don't like it because I don't like the cure approach and I don't like the idea that Dwight loses his son. Um, I think that's a terrible writing idea, to be honest, and I'll, I'll never understand why they did it. Um, now, on the other hand, of course, I would also say that Shrek is a terrible villain, and she's, you know, spread out through a lot of this episode, which is really annoying. Um, you've got Adrian, who is just kind of like a chuck, chuck away character for me, like, he's, you know, nothing special, nothing bad either, just, you know, I don't know. He's not the greatest character in the world, and he doesn't last very long either. So, this episode, it's pretty good, I mean, you know what I mean, like, it's pretty good, but I don't like the cure approach. I think that's a, a part of the episode that really aged badly when you see where the story goes, but it's, it's alright. Right. You know, it's an all right episode. Um, now, number two is then going to be King County. Now, this is an episode that I really do enjoy. These last two right here, I think, are really good. Um, the only thing I don't like from this episode, in retrospect, is I don't like that Dwight was coming after Morgan and literally left a kid to burn alive in a house, you know? Um, that is one thing I cannot get behind, is that Dwight was totally fine with M little Mo in that house potentially going to burn alive, you know? And he didn't even give a frick, you know? That part, to me, is definitely a flaw. It kind of screws with Dwight's character a little bit. But aside from that, the episode is is really good. You know, besides the Padre stuff, it's really good. You got the death of Dwayne, which they confirm. You got Morgan going back to the old uh, house from season one, which was really amazing to see. I, I really enjoy that as well. Uh, you got Grace getting bit. Again, I don't like the cure approach, but the initial scene was really good. Um, But yeah, you know, it's a solid episode. I think it's nice to go down memory lane a little bit. And I think the episode did it in a, in a really good way. Um. 
And I think for Morgan, it was definitely a great, great episode to see what went you know, on with him and uh, everything involved. I thought that was a great episode. And number one, my favorite episode of this first half of the season is easily going to go to the mid-season finale, All I See is Red. Um, yeah, no, the scene with Morgan where he says he's going to go look for Rick, I mean, in and of itself would probably make this the best episode. It's just that scene is one of the greatest episodes of Walking Dead, if you ask me, um, in a long, long time. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And I love that Morgan is going to go look for Rick. I love that he talks to Eastman a little bit too at the graves and it's a phenomenal scene. But what makes it the best episode, yes, that's what solidifies it, I would say. But I also really enjoy Morgan seeing Red. I love seeing, you know, us following his point of view and you know, kind of losing our crap with him, you know. Um, I love that. I love Madison as a supporting character in this one. I really thought she was great. Um... Daniel was actually quite a friggin' badass in this episode with his army. Uh, he was really cool. You know, he was talking down the kids from, you know, shooting them and stuff and how you don't want to do that because I remember when I was a kid and I had to kill someone, you know, and you remember that back in season two? You know, they even referenced like some OG fear stuff in this episode, which I thought was really, really good. And um, yeah, the episode had a lot of emotion behind it. It was Morgan's last episode. It was Lonnie James's last performance in fear. And I thought the Padre battle actually was pretty good. The only thing I don't like is the Shrek death. I thought she went out like an absolute dumbass but aside from that it was a great episode it really was um I thought it was really fantastic and Morgan was great you know uh Madison was great Daniel was great um I thought the episode overall was it's the best work they done in, in the first half I would say because yes King County was good but I didn't really like some of the Dwight stuff in that one whereas with this one I had minor problems here and there but for the most part it was it was a really solid episode so um none of these episodes are perfect though I'm gonna tell you that right now uh you know I, I think two of these episodes back in the day I gave like a, a 10 out of 10 um I couldn't give a 10 out of 10 for any of these episodes in retrospect I really couldn't the highest rating I would give is obviously the 9 out of 10 for the mid-season finale, you know, obviously, because I gave that uh, for that a few days ago, and that still applies, but um, here's what I'd say, episode 2 has remained about the same quality for me, um, episode uh, 4 has mostly relatively, you know, remained the same quality, I feel like there's a few problems now with it, looking back, but episode 4 relatively still the same quality, and episode 6 I would say has remained the same quality, um, and I would say 3 and 5 have remained the same quality, because I just never liked those. Um, 801, though, I'm not going to 801 has aged really bad for me. That's the one time where a rating has really drastically changed for me. Um, I don't think 801 is as good as I remember saying. I, I really don't. So uh, let me know in the comment section below, what are your least favorites to favorites or, you know, favorites to least favorites of the first half of Fear the Walking Dead season eight? Uh, write that down in the comment section below and let me know what you guys thought of the first half of the season. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.